There are certain works that we need not only the score, but also the audio. This can occur for didactic, comparative, perceptual, or many other reasons. To export the audio for a job, click the File tab and the Export button. Choose the first audio option. Sibelius warns us at the beginning that if we want to burn a CD or export the audio in MP3 format, we will need to use other software. In the Playback Configuration category, we can choose a library of sounds that we will use. Generally, Sibelius comes with the general mid standard, making it impossible to export audio. To have access to this resource, we have to download the Sibelius 7 Sounds Audio Library. You can download this library through the website that is in the description of this video. Right below, in the Playback Line category, we have the option to start exporting from the beginning or from the point where the playback cursor is positioned. In the Folder category, we choose the name of the file and export folder. Finally, we choose the audio quality and we can view the file size as well as its length. After setting all parameters, click Export. Sibelius exports in real time. This means that the processing of this function will last as long as the music lasts. It's very important to emphasize here that if during playback you are using the metronome tag when you export the audio, the result will be the same as the playback. That is, the audio file will also contain the metronome tag. So remember, any change in the playback mix will be part of the exported audio file. Good job to everyone!